Big boy, have you been over the other side? No, it's a bit too rough over there. Got, wow, look at that point, dude. Holy. Couple, That's a beauty, eh? Top wow. That might be one of the best i ever seen. Awesome. That's sick. Perfect, dude. Nice. Alrighty, guys, it's looking like it's gonna be a good day. Joel's found some pretty neat stuff. That uh, bonnet was fantastic. So I'm gonna check around this little area. He said when he was checking around here, it was just way too high, so I didn't find much. So hopefully we'll be able to see around here now. That was about 40 minutes ago. Wow, that's cool. It's like a zigzag scallop piece or something. I like it. I haven't filmed an actual big shelling video in so long it's been like over a week and a half I've just been filming micro shelling because uh, the swell has been way too high so I can finally get back to it awesome here we go it's a snake head there I gotta get my bag out and my gloves out I didn't chuck anything on because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do normal shelling today but it looks like it so let's get to the party Joel and I are going to check the volume spot right here. Usually after storms it's been really well. Like I found that volute, the giant volute a couple weeks ago after a storm. Well, the storm was a week and a half ago, but you never know, the swell's been pretty high. That look good. Quite a lot of shell grit in there. I guess. Oh, Lee. Oh, no, no. Oh, dude, look at the size of that thing. That sucks. Oh. That hurts. Yeah. It's thick as well, damn. How on earth does that break? You want it? Nah. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to it. Maybe we'll find one now. Oh, oh my goodness. What a did you see it was broken when you first saw it, or? Um, I just pulled it out, so yeah. I, I wasn't expecting Freak. That's a pain. Oh, well, we'll find one, hopefully. Let's check the pot of glory. This is where all the good shells usually are. Let's grab a couple of files. Dang, there's a lot here. No good shells though. Just a lot of grit and a lot of red coral. I've been collecting that like crazy lately. Is that white coral? Kinda. Oh. Let's check over here. Let's wait for it to drop a bit. Check it out while it's dropped. Anything in here? Not that I can see. I want to look further out while I can. There's a cherry. Yeah, nice. Cherry. Oh, look at that. Got a couple of waves coming, hold up. Nice one. Pretty cool purple teeth, as always. I'll take it. Phew. See, it's weird today. It like comes up all the time, and then whenever it does come up all the way, like this, it goes back most of the time. So, like further back. I know it sounds stupid, but it makes sense in my head. See what else we can find today. Stay tuned. Look at that. We got a snakehead waiting for me. Anything else? Nope. Sweet. That's really nice actually. Look at the the lines underneath. Hopefully you guys can see it. Sweet. Definite keeper. We got quite a few waves coming. Alrighty guys, we have my first 
Oh, self-found bonnet of the day. That's beautiful, that tip is just fantastic. Sweet. Oh, what I did want to show you, oh, I just saw another one. I've seen so many of these today. These are urchins, or anemones, I think. And they've just been sitting around like this. I think they've all been thrown off the sea floor or the sea rocks or something. But I don't know how they work. So I guess we just leave them there rather than throwing them back into the open water. But that bonnet was sure nice. Such a nice day today, actually. So much better than... Just looking around here now, where I found the giant uh, striated cone a couple weeks ago. This is this here is an Australian cockle. These are absolutely everywhere at basically every single beach. Uh, that's why I don't really take them. I've just got way too many. But I thought we'd mix it up today and take a couple of these, depending on how good they look. Like this one is really nice. Because it's got the pink lips, or the pink tips, whatever you want to call them. So I thought that one was kind of unique and cool. Just seeing what else we can find around here. Look what I do see. A live tulip shell. Very, very rusted and beaten. That fella has seen things, but they are always cool to see. You gotta make sure to get all the air out of it. Helps them out a bit, of course. So I'm just taking a look around here. While it drops a bit more, seeing what we can find. Hopefully find some grapes. Let's look around here more. Still so stoked on that striated kind I found over there somewhere. I think the rock that it was under is gone now. What do we got? A little micro shell pile. Not really looking for micro shells today. I will, however, absolutely look under rocks that's where all the goodness usually is don't see anything under there you can usually tell like straight away let's check under this one look at that big old piece of seaweed I think it's cool there's another cockle but really common color leave that one. I want to lift this one up. It looks promising. Hello, Mr. Sea Cucumber. Sorry, mate. I woke him up. Oh, see you later. Anything under here? Let's check this one. Oh, that one's so light. Nothing that I could see. Nope. Oh, there's a grape. Heck yeah. Really old. But it is still a grape. Look at the micro shells. Might take a look in there for some grapes. Heck yeah. I'll take a grape any day. That's sweet. There might be some grapes in here. You never know. Plus, in these micro shell piles, grapes are really easy to see. Because they are much larger. Then the micro shells that are in here, a bit of sea sponge. That's a cool one. Scallop. Sweet. Don't see much. Alrighty, let's continue down the Look line. at this. We have a big wow, look at that. That's live, I think. That's a sea bush of some sort. That is really cool. What do you think, buddy? Pretty cool, huh? I think so. It's weird, hey. I don't think that's for sure live. That is really cool. I might throw it back out into the ocean. Make sure it does live and grow massive. All right, let's do that. Let's go show Joel, I think he'd be really interested in this. Let me take a look through here first. Looks like there'd be a lot of potential in here. We'll give you guys a close look. I can't put my camera fully in the water, but I'm pretty sure I can put the screen in. Cool, let's take this out to the water. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty, just about made it to the little ocean spot here. 
not too far. There we go. Cool, hopefully it'll grow huge. Have an awesome life. Alrighty, we can see a bit more here. Well, oh, usually there's a pile here. Is that a strombus? It is a strombus. Ah, uh, that's oh, no. It's definitely way too far gone. I think it was growing its lip. Oh, there's a creature in it. You see that? That's cool. Can't look at him for too long. I want to see what's down here. Oh, I can. Not much. Well, that was cool. Anyway, let's keep check moving. that out, guys. So Joel and I, well, I went this way. Joel went up through the top here. And look what I've stumbled across. Oh, big boy. There's a bonnet there. That's a big one. That's exciting looking. Check it out. That's a big boy. I might grab my phone and record it as well. Let's check it out. Don't think it is. Oh, nice. It's got a really nice like color and lip, but that tip, it's like kind of freakish as well. See how it's straighter up that end? Yeah. Nice. It's still all right. It's got a beautiful color on it. That's awesome. Fine of the day so far for me. All right. Okay. Sweet as. Straight in the bag. Sweet, let's keep moving. I think we've got a big bonnet here. Hopefully, anyway. okay though yeah like there's really not too much foam here so far Piece. Gotta watch out for that. 
this one out this is a Humphreys carry I just found my first one what like a week and a half ago I think there's a big bonnet there and um, yeah it's lost it's all of its color on top of the shell but the teeth are perfect that is really cool I'm gonna grab this bonnet here nice that's really cool big old bonnet Does. See this? Orange. Strange. Oh, we sweet, dude. Let's check that out again. Abalone. Big one? No, I can't grab it. Stay to the end of the video to see a close up of that one. To this one. I only saw the teeth of it. I wasn't able to film. Holy. Yeah, I wasn't able to film it. I just saw the teeth of it right before the wave came. Go away. Stupid camera keeps clogging up. Hold on. Rapper Lineata carry that one. What is it? Rapper Lineata. Lineata. Oh, that was close. Or a blind margin carry. That's cool. One of the biggest ones I've seen. Sweet. Alrighty. We gotta check all the way down there yet. Yeah. Point dude. That's great. Sweet. Nice one. <laughs> nice. What else do we got? It's dropped quite a lot on this side since we uh, left for the other one for the front side. Wow. That is strange. Check out this piece. That's weird, eh? It's a weird yeah. Oh, nice no, bundle. Yeah. That is sick. I'm gonna keep that for sure. Lift up some of these rocks. Nothing. That was sweet. Let's keep going. Very Triton, guys. Is it whole? I think it is whole. Oh, dude. Harry Triton. And a volute there. Is it whole though? That's a tiny volute. Dang. Look at that. That is pointy as. Crazy colorful. It's empty. Wow. Just sitting in that pile there. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. I looked there a couple of times. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I looked there earlier as well just rolled in the last what half an hour that's sweet that bite might be one of my best ever that's just so colorful crazy pointy that's awesome dude pretty stoked on that what you got look at that oh dude is that a cat cone yeah wow that's sick god dang two awesome bites that's the biggest cat cone i've ever seen so that's a real cat cone. I call all the striped ones cat cones. This is a real one. Yeah. The real ones can kill. Wow. Really? Yeah, they're fish eaters. Wow. So that one there? Yeah. Was oh, sweet. That's sick, dude. Nice. 
Awesome. I know the red one goes being a ramp. I just found like the dock of them. Yeah. Also, oh, only the red ones can kill. Yeah, the red ones are rarer than the right. black ones. That one's sick. Wow. Look, there's more of these things. You I seen these? What they are. Hey, that's that that's like the fifth one I've seen. There's three there. Four. Wow. That's crazy. Still got crazy swell over this side, just super unpredictable. But it's bringing some good shells today. Really good shells. We're gonna check this entire side. That one's sick. Nice, mate. A little bit sub adult, but that's nice. Very good. Awesome finds. <laughs> that one's pretty massive, eh? Wow. We've got some water coming. That one's great, dude. I really like this. Cool. Anything else around here? Let's take a look around. Another little uh, bivalve here. Cool. Good. Anything in here? I think we have a dead sea sponge here, what I was just, you know, the uh, live piece that I found. My mother loves these, so I'll give that to her. Now, it's not attached to anything, so I'm pretty positive, like, its stem, is, when it's gone, that's basically, like, its brain, I think. So, pretty sure it's dead. I've collected them, them like this before, and I'm pretty positive, so... Yeah, it, when it does dry out, it loses all this orange color and it's just a black sea bush. My battery just died, chucked in another one. I'm going to go check out these little piles of sea squirts and stuff here. See what's going on, see if there's any shells up here maybe. But it is just getting wild out here. The wind's up. It's about to pour down. It already is raining, so let's see what we can find. Don't think we'll find much up here. It's mainly just dead stuff. But you never know. Oh, there's another sea bush. Look at the size of that one. Heck yeah. Big sea bush. That's cool. I'm gonna have to carry up that one. See, this is what they look like without all the yellow stuff on it. So, that's sweet. I'm gonna give it a wash. And it's raining on us now. What is it? Oh yeah. Let's check it out. Sweet. I might even keep that for myself. That's really cool. I don't have one of these myself. Okay, hey, we're gonna go check out the grit. We gotta get out of here. Alrighty. Let's cut to when we get home and we'll take a look at what we found. It'll be like a second for you guys, but like 10, 20 minutes for me. Walking in this rain. Yeah. We are back home now. Uh, that was really quick for you, but it was quite a long trip for me. I got drenched walking back up to the car. So here are the finds of the day. The best one would have been this hairy charging. That color is just really cool. Check out the inside teeth. Daisy, quit it. <laughs> We have a spondylus here that was pretty interesting. We got a little grape there. I actually didn't notice it had a hole. That's a real shame. Uh, then we have this one here. Joel said it was said the name of it, but I can't remember. Then we have the three. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. The three sea bushes. I'm gonna keep this one for myself. I think that one is really cool. Remind me of venom. I think they're pretty sweet. But didn't find a whole textile after finding that one. That was a shame. Bunch of bonnets as usual. And a rosa there. Yeah, we did pretty well today. It's teeming down here. Hey, Lolly. See, look. This is Lolly's hamburger. And then that's Daisy's. Anyway, it's peeing down here right now. It is really bad. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check out shellk.com and subscribe.